Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So I'm very aware that I haven't posted any sort of videos on my channel over the last month and I wanted to talk about why that is. So truth be told, since getting back from Wales at the end of February, I haven't been anywhere else for wildlife photography. But I had a good reason and that reason is because I wanted to dedicate the whole month of March to photograph on one particular mammal species, which is the brown hare. I did record these animals back about a year ago and it was a wonderful experience. It was the first time I managed to get quite close pictures of them. But I thought maybe I could have better opportunities of taking more pictures if I was just to dedicate my entire free time hoping to get pictures of these wonderful mammals again. So that was my goal. For the whole of March, I would sit out at the end of my garden, looking out over the field where the hares reside, and just remain committed to getting more recent pictures of these mammals. So the first week of March came around. I sat out the back um, looking out for these mammals, but unfortunately the weather had other ideas. We experienced an awful lot of snow the first couple of weeks of March. We had strong winds. There was just no sign of spring at all during this first couple of weeks. I still sat out because I still wanted to remain dedicated to getting images of these mammals. I tried to spend every other morning out looking for the hares. But again, the weather just wasn't playing ball. There was an awful lot of cloud cover. There'd be very misty mornings where I could see barely halfway across the field. I still knew that the hares were around, so I tried not to be deterred by the poor weather conditions. I remained dedicated and I just waited it out. And then there was one morning that came around and I thought to myself, this is it, this is the morning, this is the day that I would have perfect weather conditions and the hares would appear. It became evident when I started to see the hares emerging from the little woodland and starting to move around on the field. As I started to get a few images of an individual hair coming a bit closer than the others, and as if I hadn't experienced all the other weathers already, it hailed. <laughs> it was only for about five, not even ten minutes, but it hailed hard. And I thought, no, this can't be. I've got to see this through. Um, it can't last forever, right? But I did actually manage to get a picture of this individual hair with the hail. And I actually kind of like it. It's nice to get an environmental shot where it's not just sunshine, there's an element of either rain or snow falling. So eventually the hail stopped. 
and this was actually when the hares became a lot more active, whether the hail sort of spurred them on to move around a bit more, to get the sunlight that was now appearing. And yeah, I just spent pretty much the whole day filming, photographing and just watching these wonderful hares. I think what I've learned over this whole month is that patience is key. I'm sure I've mentioned it before and a lot of other wildlife photographers would agree. Patience is key and if you have a photo or a project in mind, it is worth seeing it through. Because then you can end up with experiences like I had again, where the hares were active, they were moving around on, on the field a lot more. And I ended up coming away with pictures that I can add to my hair portfolio and just to get to learn about these amazing animals a lot more, there's quite a few I've been able to identify now, um, either by the colours of their coat or whether they've got larger black tips on the top of their ears. So I'm um, learning more about them as well as learning more about my photography as I go. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the footage I took and also the pictures I took of these hares. This isn't the end of photographing the hares. I will continue looking out for them, maybe spend another month sitting at the end of my garden waiting for them. And just knowing that my patience have paid off and remaining committed to a project, it does pay off. Especially when you come away with pictures that you're proud of and you want to share with others like I have done for you through my videos. So as spring has now finally arrived, there's more sunny days, there's uh, less rain and snow days now. Um, I do have another project in mind that I am very keen to start. This also involves going to one location in particular for this species and yeah I'm hoping to get the same sort of result just remaining committed and envisioning what sort of imagery I want to get with this species. So I hope you are patient enough to wait around for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, for watching my other videos. 
you can put a like with this video, you can leave a comment if you wish, and if you aren't subscribed already, um, I'll be very happy if you are able to hit the subscribe button and also to hit the little bell notification so you know when my next video comes out. And as always, I'll post up some of these pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook and my Vero page. So yes, until next time, thank you all for watching and we'll see you again soon.